All righty, we have a in-part construction update for you guys today. So this was filmed on Friday. As you can see, this is the up close and personal shot of the new track segment pieces that have arrived um, at Canada's Wonderland for Elpen Fury. It's got the same color scheme. This is the turn out of the station and what I assume could be the booster launch or the break run track segment for Elpen Fury. So again, not quite sure which pieces are which, but it looks like they're building the track in order of the ride. So I'm assuming we have station pieces, turn, and the start of the hold and booster launch into the mountain. Um, a lot more support columns are over there, so that's really exciting. Uh, and I guess I, I will wait and see. Like, there's big gaps in between track arrival. Again, I am under the personal observation that track is being manufactured currently. And when I say currently, I'm talking about we have just started probably about a month ago. That is a personal observation. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. We'll have to see. If track starts arriving more frequently, then that's a good sign. But based off of what I'm observing and from what I've seen from someone who went to the, um, the facility itself, I'm, I'm under the impression that track is just starting to be manufactured. Um, outside of that, over here in Extreme Skyflyer's Pot of Land, a lot of work has been going on. So there are a lot more footings completed. There are a lot more footings in the half process of their construction. And there's a lot of caissons in the ground um, waiting to become footings. So there's a lot going on here. There's even a lot of square rebar cages. Um, ready to form whatever they're going to form, whether that's um, walls or retaining walls. Just a lot of work has taken place over in the Extreme Skyflyer plot of land. Um, it'll be really interesting to see what this ends up being turned into. I'm under the impression that Canada's Wonderland did actually not have everything in their rendering, so I'm curious if they're actually going to end up doing anything over here in World Expo um, to allow guests to maybe walk under the element or walk closer to the element, have a little bit of theming um, in this area. I'm really curious to see what this ends up being at the end of the day. Again, I'm still more excited about what Alpenfest is going to end up looking like. With all that tree removal, there's got to be some sort of plans for Alpenfest. So really excited to see what that turns out to be. But currently... They're still over here in the Extreme Sky Flower Pot of Land working away on a ton of footings uh, for the coaster. So hopefully we start to see them work their way towards Pizza Pizza. So on International. So I'm really hoping that's the direction they're heading. And then, you know, we're working our way back towards the mountain. Not much work has gone on elsewhere. So there has been some tree removal at Pizza Pizza on the behind the scenes areas. Um, but what's more exciting is there's a lot of holes in Wonder Mountain. Um, I don't know if that's exciting or upsetting, but as you can see, there's that very large hole um, to make the mountain more vertical. So you're gonna see them construct it to be more vertical instead of coming down on a slope. So the peak will be a very vertical looking peak from my understanding of the construction tour. Um, that we were on is that uh, yeah, that's essentially all they're doing up there. That is not where the coaster is coming out of that side hole there. It's just they're making it so it's a lot more. There's a lot more clearance as the coaster exits the the hole on the top of the mountain and passes through. You're gonna see these other holes in the mountain that they've patched up with wood um, on Wonder Mountain. That is where support columns will be shooting out of to hold up Alpin Fury as it descends from its highest point. And yeah, so I guess they're just weatherproofing them by putting temporary boards on it. So it's not obviously raining down in there um, into the haunt maze area, entrance area. But yeah, so as you'll see these boards, that's where support columns are going to enter into and head on down. If you go onto into the ruins maze and you see those wood giant squares with doors on them, that's actually where the support columns footings are going to be. And the support columns will come down and housed. So just thought I'd share that little tidbit of information. If it wasn't obvious, it is pretty obvious what that is going to end up being. But for those of you that may not have known, that's what, exactly what that is. 
but yeah so this mountain is definitely gonna have a lot more support columns um you know coming through it than one some may would have liked it's definitely gonna affect its aesthetics i guess um so i'm really curious to see if they end up doing anything i know they in the construction tour they were talking about that there were still some designs being whipped up for the theming and the mountain designs of the the ride so um we'll have to wait and see hopefully there's some sort of design that they're going to go with to make it look a little better but um no vertical construction has taken place over in elpenfest of elpen fury uh, no vertical, no other construction, not even pre-construction, absolutely nothing at all has changed over here on this side of the construction site. So I know that they're ready to essentially start vertical over here, and we are going to need to see vertical construction before they can start building the station. Um, but it makes me wonder if the reason they haven't started is because they're not actually finalized any of the renderings for the station. Um, and the theming and they're just waiting on that inside the mound so like I said you know if you go and you ride or not ride you walk through the ruins you get this cool little exit sequence of the haunted house and um, you'll get to see inside the mound so nothing too exciting has changed in here uh, just removing um, duct they're building that other level for a future attraction um, so outside of that, not much else has taken place. This is kind of being utilized as a staging area for Elpen Fury. So we'll have to wait and see if, you know, they start moving forward with the footings in this straight pathway of the launch that then is going to pull up and exit out of the top of the mountain. There is also going to have to be some more cutting in the ceiling closer to the ruins entrance and exit area. Uh, for Elpen Fury, so it'll be cool to start to see that. Um, but so far, nothing else. That is not a support column for Elpen Fury, by the way. I had someone send that picture of me when they came out of the maze, and they were like, is that a support column? That is Wonder Mountain's Guardian, I believe. Um, and when I say I believe, I'm pretty 99.9999999% sure that is Wonder Mountain's Guardian support column. Um, but yeah, outside of that, nothing else too exciting going on in here. Um, again, where those little blue stack of whatever over there, that is going to be the little maintenance um, track for the ride. Um, and where that yellow um, carrier is, that is going to be the launch, essentially. And it is going between columns five and six on the left and right there. And yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you. I don't think so. So thank you so much for watching today's construction update. Um, stay tuned for obviously drone updates and more in-park updates. And thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.